Hi guys, this is Tetsu and in today's quick Phoenix tutorial I'll show you how to create a burning liquid. And before we start I want to point out that we won't be creating some high resolution sims today, but instead we'll focus more on the technical part. And this is the simple result that we'll have at the end. You can see we have some uh, liquid that is uh, flowing and interacting with the objects and meantime it's burning. It's a very easy thing to set up and uh, I'll open an image here. You can see we have two simulators and the first simulator will create uh, some liquid uh, flowing and in the second simulator we will create uh, the fire and the source for the fire will become the liquid from the first one and uh, that's it basically it's a very simple thing so I'll close this and uh, this is the scene that uh, I'll start with I've already created some simple geometry and uh, I already created the, the source uh, or the emitter for the liquid and uh, I'll start with creating the simulator now so I'll go to the standard primitives Phoenix FD and pick the Phoenix simulator button and I'll create it around the objects and uh, I'll just increase the resolution just center it and okay and pull this down a bit and I'll call this uh, simulator liquid and I'll go ahead now and create the source Phoenix liquid, rotate this and uh, for the source I'll use a cylinder and uh, I've set the bottom face to be ID1 and uh, all the other faces are ID2 so I only want to emit from this bottom face and here in the source I'll say polygon ID 1 so that I only emit from this bottom face and uh, I'll change the mode to inject the fluid and uh, another thing is I want to stop the emission at some point so I'll animate the discharge and maybe I'll start with uh, 20 and at frame 5 I'll increase it slightly and at frame 15 I'll just stop the emission and I'll just make this case fast enable the liquids and press the start button I'll switch to the mesh preview and you can see this is uh, not the best result so increase the uh, steps per frame to let's say 6 and I will also switch to smooth conservation and let's press start again and while this simulating I'll change the color of the uh, of the liquid so I'll create a material and I'll just name this or let's say liquid and give it a blue color hit ok oops and assign the color to the simulator okay I'll let this uh, simulate to the end and let's see what we have now we have the liquid starts falling Okay, and filling the bow. Well, that will that will do. I can go ahead now and create the second simulator that we use for the fire. It's uh, this one. And create panel Phoenix FD and Phoenix Simulator. 
I'll increase its resolution as well and change uh, the size. Okay, I'll leave it at 70 and maybe it's a little higher. Uh, I'll also go ahead now and rename this to Phoenix FD Fire so that uh, I know that this simulator now is uh, related to the fire and just center this create the source for the fire in the source now you can see this uh, little checkbox that says can pick Phoenix and uh, by enabling it I will now be able to pick uh, another Phoenix simulator and in this case I'll pick the source uh, the simulator with the liquid and you can see I have a pop-up window saying uh, which simulator do you want to uh, choose and we simply hit OK and uh, I'll turn off the smoke and let's see I'll set the type to inject and I will add uh, check the velocity so that now uh, when the liquids flowing it creates velocities that will push the fire and okay so that's it for the source and I will also go here to the output and uncheck the smoke since we are not simulating it and let's press the start button and see what we have now okay so you can see now the fire is created where uh, the liquid is really easy uh, thing and uh, quite uh, quite effective so I'll let this simulate and it's done we have this uh, gorgeous burning liquid uh, I can uh, assign a material to the liquid and uh, I have already prepared some fuel looking material uh, I'll assign it and I'll just um, disable the fire from rendering for just a second so that we can visualize only the liquid and if I press render you can see I have some material and let's turn back the rendering and hit render you can see now I have my fire also and uh, another thing that I want to show you and yeah, it's uh, really quickly is uh, that if you remember in the source I have turned off the smoke so that I'm not simulating any smoke and uh, here in the output I've also disabled um, uh, the smoke which means that uh, no smoke channel is outputted and uh, you can check that by uh, going in the content here and you can see now that I have only temperature channel uh, but the real cool thing is that I can still have smoke in uh, the rendering and uh, it's a very simple thing to do so I'll just go here to the rendering and under colors and transparency uh, go to the smoke density and change the density to be based on the based on the temperature and uh, if I now hit render you can see I start to see some smoke but it's too thin right now so I'll make it more dense and I will make it a little darker and hit render again and you can see I now have smoke without even simulating it and uh, outputting it as a channel so I hope you guys uh, found this tutorial interesting and uh, informative and uh, see you again